Hey guys, FC Schneck here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the better PvP mod for Minecraft 1.8, and we're going to be installing it using Forge. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to the first link in the description, and that should take you to AdFly, where you're going to wait 5 seconds, and then click skip out, and that will download Minecraft Forge for you. The next step, go to the second link in the description, and that should take you to another AdFly link, where you're going to once again wait 5 seconds, and then click skip out, and that will download the better PvP mod for you. Once you've downloaded both files, drag them onto your desktop or somewhere where you can access them and open up Forge. Then make sure you've selected install client and you have downloaded the 1.8 version before doing this and run it at least once. So press install client and then hit OK. Alright, as you can see successfully installed client Forge profile uh, and that's what you want to see. So now we're going to launch Minecraft once. Then make sure you select the new profile created called Forge and make sure it says 1.8 Forge, then hit play. Alright, as you can see Forge has been installed. That does it's created a new thing here called mod list and you can just see a bunch of stuff here. So Forge has been installed successfully. Now what we're gonna have to do is hold the Windows key on your keyboard and also hit R and that will open up run. Another way of doing this is going here and typing in percent app data percent. And then just select roaming. But a much faster way is holding the Windows key on your keyboard and pressing R. Because every single time you want to go in your Minecraft directory is going to save this. So percent app data percent forward slash dot Minecraft and then just hit enter on your keyboard. And that will take you directly to your Minecraft directory. Then go on to the newly created mods folder, then drag in the better PvP mod. We can close this and I'm going to launch Minecraft to show you guys that the mod has been successfully installed. Alright, let's full screen this. Let's go into single player. It's creative. Awesome. So, this mod provides you with a minimap. Quite a handy minimap actually. I like it. Oh. This world is nice. It's a nice seed. Very nice seed. Alright, so the mod has been installed and it actually brings quite a few cool features. So, if I get a bunch of armor, I'm gonna maybe get a sword or something. Um, or it's splash potions as well. Probably not poison. Alright, pretty sure if I drink this, boom, at the top it says the remaining slowness and then strength, so that's very handy. Then if I equip all the armor, did I just equip it? No, no I didn't. Oh, this is gone. Wow, alright, cool. And when we equip the armor, it says near the bottom of our screen next to our hotbar, the durability of the armor in percentage and the remaining hit points uh, of the armor. So that's cool. And when you hold the sword, on the right side of your, of your screen, it also says the, the durability of the sword. So, lots of handy features in this mod and a minimap. Then I believe you may be able to set waypoints. There we go. If you if you press B on your keyboard, you can set waypoints. Let's just call this home. For example, there we go. So there's going to be a waypoint right there saying home. That's nice. It's a very very handy mod. Alright, so I hope you guys do support the mod developer by downloading this mod because it is a really awesome mod that provides you with a mini map, your armor durability, your tool durability, and the kind of effects you have on your character at the time, such as poison, slowness, or strength, which is awesome. So, uh, if this mod tutorial has helped you guys, make sure you guys do drop a like down below and maybe comment down below saying if it has worked or if it hasn't, I'll try to help you guys out to fix any problems you have installed in this mod. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.